So guys, I am currently in a PTI junction in Aziz and I observe that they are currently putting a beam on top of the other side of the, of the, of the bridge that have not been completed due to this uh, high tension. So guys, just take a walk with me as I walk towards that uh, other side of the bridge to showcase to you what they are doing at that uh, axis. Thank you for following me. So guys, this is the other section of uh, the express that they are working on. You know, if you look at the other side, you see that vehicles are passing through the other side because that side has been fully tight and uh, completed and this is the other session i think they have put a uh, stone base i think the final stone base have been put on this uh, area you see all these uh, pavements have been done and getting set for asphalting so that maybe vehicles can be passing while they are still doing some uh, remedial work at the other side. I think these are the the area where they will be putting all those maybe a solar street light or a street light generally. And they are already some field if area if you take a cooking look you see the the spot for the pillars have already been designed. No I'm not an engineer so I may not know some of the electrical jargons they call them or the constable the jargons but these are some of the the provision that have been made for all those uh, electric uh, uh, poles and if you take a look we're heading towards the bridge proper this other section if you look at my last video you see that this area was not like this but because progress is already taking place you see that the work is progressing so that is why i say let me give you an in-depth or an insight of what uh, is currently taking place at this moment even this uh, side of the bridge is not left if you look at it you see that it has been concrete already that means the work is progressing and if you look at the road you see that the final asphalt i mean the final stone base has been done with all those they are rolling the machine so anyway from now they are going to put uh, asphalt on this section of the road so that vehicles can move freely while work is in progress so look at the bottom of the bridge's place was not like this in my first video but it has changed and this is the other side of the PTI junction that has been done this side has been completed and so the other side in the for now is going to take a, a similar shape so guys thank you so guys this is a part of PTI junction that have not been uh, fully uh, completed owing to the fact that there was this uh, uh, high tension the uh, cables so now they have uh, mounted the mounted the pillars and as we speak now you can see that the staff of the beggars are mounting the beam on top of the pillar that have been erected already if you take a look you see that the workers are taking up the the entire beam up with that uh, heavy duty crane that you are seeing there that is the beggars uh, crane you are seeing there with that uh, beam that is raised up they are trying to position it in such a way that it will lap properly to those uh, to the accurate position that have been fixed in this uh, 
uh, pillar that have been erected in this uh, area. You see, it, I think it was this uh, vehicle that brought those uh, a beam and is heading back now once they have removed this uh, portion of this uh, beam from this area. So guys, just share your thoughts below on what you think this uh, project is all about because if you take a, a keen look at the work, to my own assessment, the work is progressing. But to some people, the work is very slow. So guys, just share your thoughts below on what you think need to be done to make this work look faster than it is. Because I know uh, this project started in in 2024, around uh, January 2024, and as we speak now, this project has got into a year and uh, nine months, and we're already on the tenth month. So to me, the work is progressing, and they really worked a situation whereby this work will be fast, so that motorists and commuters will enjoy this road to the to the best of their knowledge. Because as we speak now, this portion of the road has not been fully worked on. Though drainages have started taking place, if you take a keen look at the site you see that drainages has already taken place so guys you see that they are positioning this beam properly now that is what that stuff that is really great is doing at this moment trying to position the beam properly so that it will lap accurately according to their own uh, design and the uh, structures you see what the staff is doing and they think the machine has done what so guys they just witness how they are putting a beam on top of this uh, flower right here in the TI junction it was a, a great experience and this is the first time i'm witnessing it so that is why i try to bring it to your notice that you guys will see what they are currently doing in PTI Junction. So guys, thank you for staying with me. So guys, let us walk to the other section of the PTI Junction and see how the design of this uh, runabout is going to look like. Because I think they have done some uh, work on this other side of the PTI route for vehicles that are coming from the main runabout that is a full runabout instead of going straight or try to bend you just divert to PTI road without uh, causing a hold up maybe at the main uh, runabout so this is one of those uh, diversion that they are going to see and it has been a mark drainages have been put in place and even some element of a stone base have been done. So guys, uh, you know, I've shown you the work that is going on in this uh, PTI junction, how they are putting beam on top of uh, the other side of the bridge. You know, they've already completed a particular portion now, this other side that was held down because of a uh, all the uh, overhead uh, cable. So now I think the work has uh, gone far and uh, they are started putting the beam on top of the, on top of the bridge. So that means maybe from the calculation they said this project is going to last for two years, six months. This is about uh, uh, 30 months, if I'm not mistaken. Is it 30 years? No, no, is it 30? Which is a year, a two years, and uh, six months. So that means the work is uh, progressing. And we just uh, believe 
We just believe that uh, by His grace, the work will complete as a schedule. So that let him not look at uh, one of those uh, political gimmicks. They normally tell us about uh, the, the political promises. They normally tell us that they are going to finish a project within a particular period of time, but at the end of the day, it's a different problem. So, but we just believe that this project is going to finish on time for people to be passing through this because as we speak now, motorists are passing through hell in this uh, road. Especially this other section of the uh, ETI junction down to DLC on the back. That area is really giving stress to motorists and uh, other commuters. So I just pray that the governor and the people that make up this uh, the bigger team and facilitate the work on time so that this work will finish on time. So I said, okay, let me just give you specifically what is happening in the PTI junction, how far this work has uh, gone. And lo and behold, today, the 4th of October 2025, they, they have already started putting the, the beam over there. Look at it, then you see that the beam is already being put in place. You see all the green, that is what they have been doing since and with the witness when they were carrying this uh, green on top of that place. So guys, thank you for taking our time with us to see how this uh, project has gone in this uh, particular area of uh, Delta State, a room to be precise. Thank you. This is the area view of uh, the bridge at the moment, how uh, it looks like, and the, the beam that I'll be talking about. Take a look, you see the beam. And these are some of the drainages that have been put at this other side of uh, the runabout, uh, heading towards the uh, DSC runabout see some of the drainages that have been put in place and this is the pedestrian bridge i think they've already this pedestrian bridge has got into a particular level and if you look at that pillar there they are trying to work on that that section of the the road so that uh, the pillar will take an appropriate shape that is why all vehicles are passing through this uh, as it at the moment then these are the other drainages when i make an inquiry from the staff they told me that this bridge is designed like this because it's going to serve the pedestrian bridge and these are some of the the drainages that are in progress look at the drainages that we were heading towards the the bridge at the dsc uh, runabout see a lot of uh, construction work taking place on this uh, axis just to tell you that the work is progressing and the work is moving so just like what i said before or what i used to say i always give a shout out to the state governor for doing all this uh, marvelous work in the uh, data state here especially in a uh, phone area and even the one in any junction is not left out you look at check out my video catalog you see what they have done in the NRA junction so far you see that the work has equally gone far i think if all energy is geared towards NRA junction the next four months they should have completed that area 
and this is the, the new section of the runabout that is in progress. They have uh, uh, gone far on this uh, runabout. Stone base is already in place, and many things are already coming up in this uh, runabout. So, if you are road expert, you understand what I'm talking about. Even a lemma, you understand that a, a, a particular section of this road has been covered for a runabout such that vehicles will be moving freely without any uh, issues. So this is the other section of the runabout. So guys, look at this is the section of the church. I think I've shown you guys all this area and a lot has really happened in the past. I think uh, two months when I did my other video, I think I, I, I came out with one video in August on this uh, section of the road. And this is the current position in October 4th, 2025. So guys, just uh, share your comments below on what you are seeing and how the pace of this work is uh, going because some people are complaining. So guys, if you take a look, this is going to be the new uh, DSC runabout because the runabout has been taken from the other side, from the other side, has been taken from the other side down to this area that I'm currently standing on. In fact, so we we are a little bit confused about the how the work is going on, but if you are following my video consecutively, you see that the runabout has been relocated from that uh, area on that side now to this particular spot where we are now, just by the side of the bridge, because uh, it's like somebody that is coming from the DSC has this instead of taking it to. So you can have turning that way, like this is where you are going to turn and you have a if you look very thin you see that the, uh, the road is taken to this other side, one and that one taken to that means somebody has come from the SC has we have gone straight to this place. Yeah. So you press somebody that is going towards the SC, go straight that way. The person that is coming from the SC, go to talk to the other side. So guys, that is what uh, I see on this uh, work that is currently taking place in this uh, DSC runabout. So guys, I believe that uh, this video has uh, resonated some value to you. If you like uh, what you see on my video, give my video to sponsor, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Spread the video with my name because a lot has happened within the last video that I have done. A lot has happened. That is why I said, let me carry you guys along by showing you what uh, has uh, really taken place within this uh, short period of uh, time. In the last video I did, I'm now. Today is 4th of October 2025. And they are already putting stone beads on this uh, runabout that they are already constructing in this uh, area in the DSC runabout. So, guys, thank you for watching. See you in my next video.